Hello, today I'm going to be trying to make a track using the Orb Producer Suite Free. I have been playing a little bit around with it. The guys at Hexagon give you the ability to, well, you have to buy the plugin, but you can return it in 30 days with your money back if you're not happy with it. There is no way to trial it, so I had to buy it. Um, so I've only had it for a week. Last week I did a video with my first look at it and here is a link to that. I've played around with it a little bit more and today I intend to make a full track with Orb. Um, so that's going to be quite a challenge because I've never done that before. Now because it works similar to Escape, Captain Epic, sorry, you need like the chords plugin to be in first and I've got that open right now. And the other ones follow as long as you have this little button here called play through themes as one chained blocked is selected and I've selected that. The other thing that I want is door sync. So what that means is the syncing and playing back comes from the DAW, doesn't come from the system itself. If you unclick it, this button here just becomes visible and you click it again and that's pretty much it. Um, well, basically, as soon as you open it, it gives you some chords, some default chords. And here they are. Now, this is in C minor. So what I did is I went to uh, Splice and I got a vocal that was already in C minor. So I didn't have to mess around too much with it. And I got a couple of drums, which sounded fairly good, I guess. And just to give you an idea, this is how the vocals sound. I tried to break them up into verse and choruses. I don't know how successful I was. I'll just give you a little quick idea of how that sounds. So it's not too bad. And then if we go to Orb. So out of the box, you get some chords. I actually have now gone ahead and changed some of the chords by clicking on this button here, which is randomize all chords. I think I clicked it three times before I got onto these chords, which I think sound just right really for this song. So if we just go back to the beginning of the song. Now what I can do is I can click on here another theme and what that will do is allow me to select a bunch of other chords and it will just extend the track by instead of just repeating and looping this section it will repeat and loop theme one and theme two. I can actually add more chords here but for this four to the floor song and the fact that I'm still learning I'm just going to kind of leave it like this and I, I do like these chords a lot. So we've got the bass chords here which are really cool and now what I want to do is bring in a bass which is going to follow those chords. So let's just see what that sounds like just out of the box. My head. Filling my mind with these images, yeah. And it's the way that you look at me. So that's that's pretty good too. But then I don't just want that sort of uh, re-space sort of beginning. I want complex bass. So let's just bring in another bass. I've just duplicated that bass that I had before. And I'm just going to go and edit that. Let's just get something a bit more complicated. Now, what I can do if I really want is click on this randomized button here. So let's just try that. My head. So what we can do now, that's just a little bit all over the place, is reduce the complexity. So it's pretty simple looking there. And reduce the density. So for a baseline, we want the polyphony at one. So we just leave that alone. I'm just going to bring human touch down to zero and syncopation down to zero. Just keyed zero in there. Minus one octave is fine. Just leave silence. Actually, let's just play with silence. Silence is interesting for bass. My head, filling my mind with these images. Now I'm just going to unclick the on bit at the top, which means when I randomize, I'm only going to randomize what's on the bottom, but I don't really want any of this stuff here randomized. I just want silence randomized. In fact, what I will do is just leave that and just change the silence manually. Okay, 
Okay, so that's probably fine. I'm just going to change some of the rhythmic rules so we've got a little bit more rhythm going. My head, filling my mind with these images, yeah. Let's try 16th note. Actually, actually, let's try offbeat. My head, let's try on beat. My head, let's try 16th. My head, filling my Off. mind with these images, yeah. And it's a way. Strange, it gives me different results every time I click it, which is fine. It is artificial intelligence at the end of the day. So what we might just do is leave that, but you can actually go ahead and just, whoops, you can actually go ahead and move the MIDI notes if you really want to, which is what I'm going to just do like that, just to keep things simple, to be honest. And then once you've done with that, you can actually start messing with the velocity. So let's just try, I'm not going to randomize, but there's too many, there's too many settings here that could go wrong. So let's just change the velocity. My head, filling my mind with these images, yeah. And it's the way that you look at me, makes me feel. So that's a nice strong velocity. So I like that for a, a build up bass. But what I want now is a more, definitely a more complex bass. So I'm just going to go back in there. I've just duplicated that. It's going to go back in there. My head, filling my mind with these images, yeah. And it's the way that you look at me, makes me feel like I can't breathe. It ain't right, right, right. It ain't right, right, right. It ain't right. So interesting results. So I, I like that one there. I'm just going to move that last bass note. Yeah, I don't know if I can actually do it. Can I just move this bass note a little bit? I can't, but that's fine. I can just drag that MIDI later. So, so that's cool. So we've got three different bass options which we can use. And now we're going to just bring in arpeggios. Now I was playing with arpeggios before. What I really like about arpeggios is... I'll just show you. Bring the octave one up. My head, filling my mind with these images, yeah. And it's the way that you look at me, makes me feel like I can't breathe. It ain't right, 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 it ain't right, 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 it ain't right. Oh no, it ain't right, right. What I like about it is this polyphony thing. What you don't see a lot with our pigeons is polyphony and this is makes it really easy so i've just got a uh, two polyphony which means that there will be on occasion well i think every time two notes played so let's just go and my head, filling my mind with these images yeah. and it's the way that you look at me makes me feel
So I'm just changing the sound here because it doesn't sound great. Um, I don't actually like the sounds very much from from this, to be honest. My head, filling my mind with these images, yeah. and it's a way so just on a side note, you can go and change the sounds using the synth. My head, it's a wavetable synth, but I haven't really ever been able to get a decent sound out of it. But it doesn't matter because I'll be taking this MIDI and dragging it out. So I'm just going to reduce the density of the arpeggio so there's less of it. My head. Let's remove the chord so just listen to it by itself. Let's try messing with polyrhythm again. I think that will do for arpeggiata and then finally melody. Now, I think melody is an interesting one because I think melody is there to help you write lyrics, which is which is certainly cool because it even has by default the lyrical melody section. But you can still use all of these other functions like polyphony, silence, octaves and stuff. So let's just go ahead and create a melody now. Make it more complex. Some silence. Let's let's randomize the velocity. So even though it's really for lyrical melody type elements, I actually think you could use it for strings and for sort of plush background. So let's let's keep that there. So what I'm going to do is now I've got all my sort of elements together. I'm going to actually start using some real instruments. I'm sorry, Orb, Hexagon. Um, don't like your instruments. So I'm going to start using my own instruments. And I'm going to start with the chords, which is going to be Diva. And you all know I love Diva. So let's just bring in a polysynth preset and just reduce that cutoff a little bit. We're just literally going to go into the chords that we heard before and just drag them onto the DAW there, I think. No, it's just above. I thought this could happen. The uh, pitch is a bit too high, but let's just bring it down. Done more. Quite a lot, actually. Now let's listen to it with the vocals together. My head, filling my mind with these images, yeah. and it's the way that you look at me. Let's bring that bass in. The bass is going to be repro. I'm going to use a, a bass preset, and we're just going to drag that original original bass sound in which is that that one there just going to tweak that sound a little bit 
Just get rid of some of that cutoff. That will do for now for bass. So just bring that in. So I'm going to take that second bass track. I'm going to drag that to the DAW. Just going to give it a slightly different color, so we know it's different. And just drag it to the beginning. Just going to silence the first one. And let's just bring that uh, other bass track in that we were seeing before. And we'll just give that a different color. So we know it's different. Just go in here. So this is the one we're going to use for the chorus. And this one is going to be for the build up. So I think we've got everything we need. So let's just listen to it again. I'm going to just duplicate that repro again because I want a different sound for all of the bases that we have. So let's just try now like that. Right, so I think I've got a decent little bass structure there, and hopefully it'll make more sense once I add the beat. In fact, let's just do that right now. I didn't let you hear the beat. I don't know if you're going to like it. It's not a typical house beat, but uh, I don't care. <laughs> At this point, we'll bring a side chain kick start So this is the other bass line and you really can hear <laughs> the relationship with the kick and the drum is like, is really important here. Right. That just doesn't go at all, doesn't it? So that's fine. What we can do is just just have these quantize settings. We just apply some quantization. That's better. Thank you. 
Okay, so there you go. We've got a bit of a base structure going. Now let's just go and add an arpeggiator to the track. We've already got that worked out through Orb. And for arpeggiators, we're going to go with Spire. Spire is a really interesting synth. You don't know what you're going to get with it. Um, the presets are just magic. So let's just try. Let's just try some pluck. Let's just see how it sounds just by itself first with the orb arpeggiator piece. Let's try it with the verse first and see how that sounds. Let's try it with the bass. So once again, we're going to have to uh, quantize this. Now let's bring the melody piece in. At this point here, we'll just bring it in to another track. And as I said before, we could use the melody um, to uh, add a string section. So let's just do that now with contact. Just down a couple of... Get that lyric, the lyrics done proper, like sound better. So, this point, we want to bring in a chorus, so I'm just gonna just break that up and this is the chorus bit here where these orbs are playing so I'm just going to select all of that copy edit copy and the piece here that I want to paste in I just go to the top bit and then select paste time and I'm hoping that's going to work I don't really know <laughs> No, it doesn't. But let me just <laughs> see what we can do there. That's fine. It's all, it's all fixable. There you go. So I think that bass needs to be an octave higher, actually. Yeah, and then we'll just put a sub bass. We we'll just put a sub bass in there. To now, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna do any EQing or compression because that's just gonna take too long. But um, just quickly put a little sub bass in here from Serum. Calling my phone, I'm being patient, but I'm alone. 
I really like that vocal piece. Let me just. It just, it sounds a bit like a mistake, but I like I like that. <laughs> so I'm just going to duplicate that. Get rid of the rest of it. going to overlay some of the vocals and just keep that repetition going which I really like and that bass was really nice that bass thing was sounding good too so I'm just going to continue that going now let's overlay those strings here So just completing the arrangement of the song here. Just another thing we could do is, is have some fun with a filter. There you go, a full song produced, um, not completed. There's still EQ work to do. There's still some editing to do, as you can tell, and quite a lot of compression and all that sort of fun stuff and mixing that has to be done. But my point is, um, I feel really happy because I was able to produce a song using the Orb plugins and at a relatively quick time of, I think that's just over 30, maybe 40 minutes. That's that's pretty darn quick. Um, so I guess it's one of these tools that if you keep practicing and using it, you can come up with a lot of stuff pretty quickly with it, um, As at least as a backing vocal, because all you need to do is just take these vocals off and you've got an instrumental and you can actually just maybe write a new song. And you can you know change the drums or whatever and just change the, the genre. So I think... There's a lot of use cases here for a tool like this, just like there was with Captain Epic and obviously things like Scalar. So the only difference is this is artificial intelligence. So if you're a little bit lazier, <laughs> you can't be bothered choosing chords or melodies or anything like that. This gives you multitudes and multitudes of options. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So um, do you guys like it? What do you guys think of the, is this the future? I don't think it is, to be honest, but um Maybe you've got your opinion on that and maybe you think that this is the way all music is going. Let me know what you think. Bye.